welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you five different ways you can style an ordinary sort of shirt like this. It looks cute as it is, but I'm gonna show you some ways to kind of crop it, tuck it in, that you might not have seen before. So first things first, the fit today is so cute. So finally, I have some sunshine here in England and I've definitely dressed for the occasion. Now, I recently thrifted this shirt and at the same time also got these shoes, which are so cute and I wanted to style it. So I thought I'd put together a video. So I'm gonna stop rambling now and let's get to it. So I'll start with some non-tying options because shirts can be really cute without tying them. You just have to know how to tuck them in. So I'm gonna do up some of the buttons up to about where my belt is. And then you just wanna tuck in one side just like this and you kind of leave the other side out so you can still flash you know the gucci belt buckle in this case but it also kind of shows that you know there is some shape there it's not just a shirt so you can do like the half in half out which is cute or we can tuck it all in so this one you probably need to undo the one button above the belt and you bring to one side one side and you tuck it in so you're going to the opposite side and also around the back might be cute as well to tuck in and then this one we're going to bring to the other side so it makes kind of like a cross, like a wrap around the front, like so. And there you have a bit of a different kind of crisscross. Because my trousers are so high waisted, it doesn't really show it. But if you're wearing like slightly lower waist, you can see the design it makes, which I think is super cute. And let me just make sure it's all tucked in at the back. And then you have a really smart kind of option of a tuck-in look, but it's a little bit different. And I think it really cinches in the waist. Now they're the tucked-in options. So now I'm gonna show you some of the tying ones. So I'll start with, everyone knows this one. This is the one I used to always do, and I still do it. So you just do one knot like that, and voila, you have a lovely tied top. Now this still works, nothing wrong with it. You can tidy it up though by doing another knot, which just makes it a bit more secure. By taking one of the tassels here, you just wanna loop it over like that. And then you take this one and you go through that loop. So you're making a knot, but it's leaving a really nice kind of clean bit of shirt here. Although mine is rather wrinkled now because I've been playing around with looks for a while to prepare for this video. So it just makes kind of a cute tie option that's a little bit neater than just a knot. But then there is another method of tying which I, now is my go-to because you don't have to do double knots and it just is really secure. So you wanna do up another button because we're gonna go in between the buttonhole. So take one side of your shirt and poke it through that hole there. And then you take the other side and you go the other way and then just pull it tight. And you can see it just makes a really neat knot around your waist or wherever you want it and it's really secure i find this holds a lot better than just tying it so i love this one and now the final look is a new one for me but i love it you want to have one button done up or two depending on your preference and we're going to tuck the collar under now i am wearing a shirt that's mesh like up the top so i probably should do this with a solid color one because you can actually see the collar underneath but I kind of like it. Let me know what you think. But you tuck the collar under so it just turns into like a nice v-necked kind of blouse. Then taking these, we're gonna go round the back. Now you can tie it, but I actually like to kind of gather it as a little tail, do a little twist. Now you can use a hairband and flick it under. I just tuck it under a bralette. So I'm just wearing, you can see like this white kind of bandu. I just like to tuck it under there, but if you want it to be more secure, just tie an elastic around it and it will hold all day. And it looks like that, so it's neat from the back, but it's also very stylish from the front. So you can see it like that, but just don't do it too tight, otherwise this button will be screaming for its life. So you still want it to, you know, look comfortable and be movable. But I, this one's really nice, like it's unusual, but I really like it. So I had to throw that one in. But yes, that was just a quick little styling video. I thought I would just share some of my ideas on how I style shirts. I'm now ready to go. And I think this is the winning option for today. It's just a really unusual way of tying a shirt. I love it. But I really hope you all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. I'll be back with more soon. And I'll also link my second channel down below as well if you'd like to follow me on there. It's all about geology and rocks and science. A little bit far away from fashion, but if you're into that, 
the links down below. But thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.